Shabrata, you may start. Shubrata, can we start? Hello. Guys, am I audible? Yes, uh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. So, Vrata, can we start, uh, because I've started the recording also, can we start the session? Okay, let's start. So today we are going to train you on Angular. So what is Angular? Anyone can tell me? Anyone has a idea about Angular? Uh, you, your screen is not visible. I'm not sharing my screen. I'm just asking anyone knows about Angular. What okay. is Angular? It's a front-end framework. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a component-based uh, JavaScript. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so you are quite used to with jQuery and JavaScript, I think, right? So yes, yes. yes. So lot of lot of yes. Ajax calls and yes. jQuery stuff you are dealing with. So Angular is a single page application. Okay, so when we talk about Angular, Angular is a single page application. So what is what does it mean by single page application? Angular has only one page, one HTML page that is index.html file. Okay. So I am sharing my screen. I will start do the setup. Let me know if you can see my screen.
so i have created one angular folder okay in my e drive in that angular folder i have just uh, copy this control c and then cmd so it will open this terminal now first step is to create a sample project from angular site okay to do that i have created a sample documentation okay so i will share this documentation with you with all the information i have enlisted over here so first step is angular runs on node server okay and we need npm packages to run angular application so these npm packages provide us a angular cli angular cli is a framework and it provides us certain commands to run this angular framework angular cli gives us ng commands so there are initial command is ng new project name okay so if i start doing this what happen it will create a folder with the name of tour of heroes and in that folder it will put all the required framework related stuffs inside it so before it starts it will ask you couple of questions whether you need a uh, routing or not what is the css pattern you require so you can you will see that those information will come in my screen so since it's it's take some amount of time okay so let's discuss with single page application so when we used to deal with deal with php i think most of the candidates i think here is from different skill group either java python dot net or php side so more or less you whenever you develop any web application you have couple of pages say like uh, contact us page about page home page and there are other pages also you navigate through one page to another page so it is asking me one question would you like to add angular routing i say yes now it is asking give me couple of information like i need css sas less whatever it is so i choose css so in single page single page application what happens angular basically deals with components okay components are building blocks of any angular application so it's a maybe if you are creating any dashboard so you are creating multiple blocks of graphs and charts it may happen that you are developing pie chart or maybe bar chart whatever it is line chart so each block can be treated with a component so these components basically called internally and render in one html file that is index.html so whatever you basically see in the angular application this is a single page application and angular is a framework whereas i think i called about jquery or maybe react or maybe uh, these are libraries so when we talk about any framework these frameworks has little bigger sizes compared to library so when you have a any boilerplate applic angular application the size of the angular application it will be little bit at higher side so what angular brings uh, with this particular framework angular brings security angular brings a standard okay so anyone who needs to write code in angular he or she needs to follow the same pattern whatever angular provides it is not that i like this way so i will start coding that way so those things are not acceptable in angular so you have to create with create the same pattern so probably if any developer goes and any new developer comes they will follow the same pattern so if anyone understand the core functionality and the structure of the angular application he or she able to easily get used to with the project structure okay
Hi, Subroto, are you there? Yes, yes, sir, I'm here. Hello, sir. We are waiting for this Angular boilerplate application to set up, to do the setup, and then we will run through this application. I have a question. Yes. Can I ask one? So, yes, yes. Uh, for which applications do we prefer uh, React over Angular? See, Angular and Angular and React are very competitive libraries. Okay. So it depends on if you see in the market trends. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you go into the banking domain because i can see i can tell you the history of these two competitive uh, library and frameworks uh, actually competition starts in the time of maybe 2011 12 that time uh, react was initially very popular and faster compared to angular js and gradually in the year of 2014 angular 2 comes in picture and uh, the speed of the application grows in a tremendous way so people i mean who started because it brings a, a another level of security with your inbuilt structure okay so react application is just like a jquery library you can do the state management and you can design your own architecture as of your need but in case of angular you have to follow the same pattern like a framework follows okay so in 2014 angular again comes uh, higher in picture uh, and a lot of banking application uh, came in the market with uh, this kind of thing where we can say that these are the legacy application going to stay in the market for a long period of time it re requires a lot of development project size will be bigger okay that time from 2014 15 to 2017 18 angular was dominating in the market okay uh, but on later stages uh, people understand that it is always easy to learn react compared to angular because angular has a lot of stops okay uh, that you have to maintain and maintain in a angular way but in case of react it is quite simple and easy to maintain okay say for example uh, there is a redux library available both in angular as well as react but most of the react application for state management they are using redux but in case of angular you will hard to see the redux uh, related implementation in the angular project so the architecture and the other things that angular provides it's little bit tricky to learn and then handle according to the project situation okay so in current trends today we can say that react is again dominating technology because it is easy to learn size is less i think speed wise i think maybe 5 to 10 percent uh differs if uh, developers actually knows the best practices and how to handle angular projects okay uh, this is the this is the overall competitive scenario of uh, angular and react so generally big projects wo which generally takes maybe two three years of time and then there will be maintenance and modification that period of time in the year of 2014 15 uh, those projects are developed in the angular but smaller projects uh, we also have react based projects but the problem with react based projects is that uh, any developer can code and uh, design react application in their own way say for example react has a class based concept as well as react has a functional component okay so the class based concept and functional component are functional component introduced in 2017 or mid or maybe 2018 when react 16.8 comes in the market that time react introduced hooks and functional component gets popular so when this functional component gets popular, uh, the entire speed of the React application uh, just slightly grown from the uh, Angular side. So nowadays, 
i mean organization decides uh, what to which technology to develop what to develop there are certain library sometimes that we have that supports angular it is not common for uh, any no, uh, uh, normal application but for a big application when we have a visibility that certain library supports well with angular that time uh, actually uh, what happened that people prefer angular over react or react over angular hello uh, hello subrata sir yes yes uh, like angular and angular js like how we can differentiate in angular and angular js so is the angular js is a angular uh, for js framework we use angular js or how it is or is it angular like... angular js is a jquery type of library angular js react js or jquery all are in the same pattern angular okay. js angular js deals with the controller and uh, angular higher version i mean 2 plus version deals with the component okay but in angular we write a code in uh, typescript right in angular we are using typescript yes so npm uh, that converts the node package manager converts uh, ts code into js code right uh it is not happening in that way actually happen what happened mm -hmm. uh angular uses a library that is called webpack mm -hmm. okay this webpack basically responsible to transpile your ts into js, JS file okay okay mm -hmm. so this webpack because earlier if you people worked on angular js you people have grant gulp these are these are a lot of additional tools we generally use with angular js okay mm -hmm. so when webpack came in the market webpack basically takes uh, the whole uh, framework inside webpack and mm -hmm. it is a responsible package for the transpilation okay. so webpack manager can transport the ts code into the js for the execution yes okay so whenever we whenever we uh, actually run uh, our build commands okay mm -hmm. so what happened that internally it uh, the whole typescript and html css code because you can choose sas lace whatever it is okay but when you actually give a production build or maybe aot build what happened ultimately the output will be in the javascript html and css because these are recognized by the web browser okay okay so this es6 typescript is not understandable uh, to the chrome browser chrome safari firefox okay so they, they don't understand this typescript typescript is a superset of javascript if i draw a outer circle that is the typescript and everything in the javascript library fall in, inside that typescript so nice. in today's modern uh, technology if you are using typescript in any project the advantage is that when you start the development you will get the error related error related issue at the time of development say for example uh, angular project can be developed in the typescript it cannot be developed in the js right but react project can be developed in the both way with the typescript and also is the with the jsx format but if you are using jsx format the problem will be when you <coughs> build or when you run the application that time only you will get the error related issue but at the time of coding you don't get any intelligence or hints that your code is buggy that is the advantage of using the the typescript yes thank you sir so another thing since we talk about this angular angular uh, is a framework yes uh, subrata i have one question uh, like how is even vue js having a, a great amount of difference with angular because if i'm not wrong vue js is also used as a great component in laravel for supporting laravel as great component also so how do we treat angular 
Uh, so if you if you see the history of angular and react probably you can see that facebook basically supports the react and probably yeah. google is supporting the angular so yeah. you, so from development point of view uh, there is a huge community support available for these two technologies okay the problem with vuejs is they have less community support and big application people do not take any chance with the vuejs because i mean the popularity react and angular has and the vuejs is a good framework i can tell you the good framework for small applications but uh, when we talk about big application probably 2 years 3 years or maybe 5 years long these application will run very few companies are interested to take vuejs uh, as their uh, core technology because of the lack of community support okay okay so it's for for example few people are aware of i mean ck4 and ck5 okay so that ck4 uh, there is a separate set of community support and ck5 has a ck5 means ck editor i'm talking about ck5 php people probably understand this so ck5 has a different set of implementation okay and we do not have any proper community support apart from their own documentation site so that that creates a problem for every developer when if you go into that document site and maybe you need to start coding and documentation site are not good enough to i mean uh, i mean support to your project related stuffs because people used rarely those things because of the lack of community support then then actually that problem starts okay hello subrata this is i have one question only just the fact that like the community support is we choose like for the project react uh, angular and a small kind of project is do or any other factors are there also see for example say when when you have a small project right you have a scope of work you need you you get a complete idea about what are the third party library i will use whether those third party libraries are available for respective technologies okay uh, that that you can measure at the very beginning maybe 6 months 7 months 8 months you can you can measure from the scope of work but maybe for a 5 year old project or maybe 6 7 years old project okay so mm -hmm. these projects i think people don't get visibility of the entire stuff at the beginning okay because they cannot measure every uh, everything so that point actually they rely on the community support popularity type of application uh, people build over uh, in 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 the in the industry that kind of information generally help people to decide which technology to go with okay so that's the key factor right for to choose the mm. technology like angular versus bo uh, or any other any anything anything okay thanks uh, subrata mm -hmm. i have one question like uh, angular and angular js are still exist i mean like both are exist in the market or and js has i mean got... i mean angular angular js already deprecated okay mm -hmm. the thing is still uh, i mean you get support uh, i think this year or maybe next year okay after that angular js uh on be uh, available even in the browser so people who used legacy application because lot of legacy and banking application we have developed uh, in angular js at the time of 2010 2011 okay so either these projects uh, need to be upgraded with the latest angular version or probably they need to switch uh, the entire technology either choose react or any other thing Okay, got it. Only one will will be exist after some year, right? Yeah, Angular JS will be deprecated okay. uh, at any point of time. Okay. Okay.
so you can see this this is a boilerplate application right that angular comes with so this boilerplate application gives you lots of information okay so this is a this is a sample page right now we have okay there is a cli related documentation available so it will redirect you to the respective website so there is a angular material that is a third party library just like a bootstrap to support angular related thing and they have their own components and other uh, uh, stops inside that material UI. Okay, there is a PWA support, then there is a dependency means there is a service, and there is a test cases, and there is a production. So this is this is just an just an boilerplate. This is the home page, and they have given us this information that these are the critical stuffs to deal with any Angular application. So we can manage those things through the Angular. Now let me go inside that source code. Okay. Okay, so you can see this entire structure. Okay, so these are the core files of Angular. So one of the core files is Angular.json file. So this file basically holds all the key to the entire framework. Okay, so it is giving you an path that when you run the production build, it will store the entire js html css into a dist folder the dist folder will be created and this is the path at the same time you can see that there is a uh, different different configuration related stuffs over there so when we talk about configuration and in real life scenario a project has a development branch then there is a there may be a UAT branch then there may be a production branch okay so they have given us a sample uh, structure for this production related thing so if we need to work with development and uh, UAT branch we need to copy this production part and we can set our uh, different environment into this configuration file okay now another important thing is the package.json file so whenever you visit this angular application so there is a script part available in the package.json file in that script part we have we can see that there are a couple of commands already written that is ng serve ng build okay and then ng test so ng test generally helps us to run the all testing files or we can say that files we have extension with dot spec okay and also what are the versions what are the packages we are using into this particular framework we can get an overview of the from this dependency and dev dependency over there so that we can say that this is a cli version this is a production version and this is a angular core library version so whenever you use any kind of third party packages into uh, angular angular application okay so these information get written either in the dependency or in the dev dependency if you save that <coughs> with the with the command another information another thing we i have to mention over here there is a karma json dot file so in angular we deals with unit testing okay so when we talk about unit testing there is comes in two things in the picture one is jasmine and another is a karma so jasmine is the script that we use to write test cases and karma is the test runner that executes the jasmine related script okay so how we can understand that this is a unit testing file and this is a normal file so there is another thing there is a node module inside node module we have lot of angular core library available it is the architecture and now i am getting inside 
our main source folder so this force folder inside this source folder we have our activity so we don't disturb these other outside files so inside this source folder we have app folder and this app folder <coughs> we have couple of files the first page that actually renders in this application this is the app component dot html file so if we go inside that app component dot html file you can see this is the file okay so this file basically this is a css part and this is the html okay so welcome uh, subhanar shridhar yeah yes, means yes. html and css in one file html and css they have written in one file but uh, in our general practice we have separate separate file over here okay so i yeah. think in the css okay. file it is blank right now app component dot css file but in my training i will definitely guide you how to add css in the respective css file just just for their information i mean they have added over here so this is an okay. uh, welcome thing so if i go into that this is a particular file okay okay got it thank you so uh, yes uh, i have a question uh, like uh, for a specific version uh, if you want to install something so uh, because uh, like uh, this uh, command generally we use to install the like uh, latest version i think but uh, if you want to work like a specific version like uh, 6 version 8 version something mm -hmm. so so which command we have to use and uh, so in that case in that case mm -hmm. so when i install if i don't specify any particular command mm -hmm. so it will take always the latest version of angular okay yes. mm -hmm. so if you want to install specific version then you have to mention it with the add rate sign at the rate 16 point something so that it will install the specific mm -hmm. uh, version of the angular okay and uh, another thing is like that uh, while we install uh, it will ask for like uh, css styling like mm. uh, uh, html like three to four option there mm. so which option we have to choose and uh, can you please uh, like uh, explain some differentiate so it will it will be decided by the ui team so when any project you generally run <laughs> so basically ui team decides whether it should be a sas or it will be a less i think these these are the two main frameworks right uh, today uh, we are actually following okay so if mm -hmm. ui team decides ki uh, we need sas so you will choose sas if they decide no i will write css in the less so you will you can choose less so whatever you actually are writing in the development mode ultimately mm -hmm. when you have a production build Mm -hmm. that time all css less will be ultimately compiled uh, compiled into css3 because okay. css3 only accepts the browser okay okay so now <clears throat> now Thank we you. can uh, yeah now we can see that angular has i mean couple of files over here okay so one is a ts file that is a uh, component related file or maybe we can say typescript extension then we have a dot html file there we post our html there was a css file we write our css into that app component dot css file or whatever it is so whenever apart from that there is another file called app module dot ts so what is this app module dot ts file so when any angular application bootstraps bootstraps you, you you can understand right so whenever any framework uh, we execute in the browser the what is the bootstrapping process of ex execution okay so this app module okay this app module basically holds up entire skeleton of your custom developed component okay so this right now we have this app component this app component is a part of app module so going forward when you have multiple components over here so you will get to see that those components will be automatically added to the app component if you are creating those components with the cli commands 
if you creating manually then you have to add those things over this particular file because otherwise angular don't understand or recognize those specific components so this entire bootstrapping process is happening over here so what is the what is the flow of entire angular application how this bootstrapping happens you hit a url in the browser right so this request goes to your app module so app module try to find out the routing because every url is actually aligned with the routing so whatever framework you are using so every page you basically opens in the browser it should match with the routing right so we have our routing module.ts file so since we right now we do not have any other components okay so the basic thing that it is automatically getting called from the app module file so in the app routing basically what happened it will look for the routing so what in that part whenever any route matches it actually loads that specific component to that index.html file so that is the whole architecture now how the internal flow comes so when any routes reach it goes to the request goes to the typescript file that .ts file extension this is the file request goes here every component you create when route matches first request goes to the ts file and then it executes the business logic and it renders the view pages okay so those view pages getting transferred from the ts to html file the same thing happening over here also okay in the app component dot file you can see that there is a title variable over here okay so this title variable telling me tour of heroes so if i copy this title and try to find out this thing in the html file yeah so there whatever variable you are using in the typescript if you want to have that value in the view page then you have to use this double curly braces this is this is called interpolation in angular technical terms this is we call the interpolation so this is the way uh, the angular application flows okay so let's i mean uh, whatever we discussed today first we uh, create our own angular tour of heroes then we run our ng sub hyphen hyphen open open you can add or you may not be added then we have our files structure core files available there is a okay there are another thing i have to mention so here in the component file what happened what is this this add the rate component okay so whenever we create any component angular generally put a tag with this add the rate decorator this this is the these are the decorators these decorators are stored as a metadata in the memory of the angular application when anyone ask you what is metadata that is we generally answer that is data about data so what is data about data so in angular application we have component we have services we have pipes we have directives so how angular understand that this is a component this is a service this is a pipe and this is a directive that understanding comes from this particular particular decorator stuff okay so each decorator has three piece one is the selector another is the template url third one is the style url so this selector part okay if say for example i need this app component because app component is the mother of all the components going forward we will create n number of components okay where you can see that we copy this selector and we put that inside any component so that component will automatically get rendered inside the parent component so this selector is used to identify the component and that should be unique the name of the selector and name of the component in angular application should be unique if you have same name then it will be a conflict and it will produce an error template url basically gives us information about the html file which is file 
it generally handles so whenever we have any typescript or ts related data and we want to show that data into the browser so this data will be go into that particular html file apart from that every component has their own css so in angular we have two types of css file one is the common css file that is called the style.css file okay so this style.css file is the mother of all files say for example your project needs a global css and other stuffs you can put it in the style.css file sometimes you need to style into the individual component in that part you have to use your individual component related css file so this component related css file will impact into the respective component and global css file will impact into the entire application okay apart from that in our whole structure we have assets these assets folder we are using to put uh, say for example for image pdf any third party uh, css okay if you are using you can put it in the asset folder this environment folder is there there is a two files available one is the environment.prod.ts file and the environment.ts file one environment.ts file we are responsible to set the global configuration of the application so this environment.ts file is generally we use for the development purposes and for the production purposes we keep our information in the environment.production.ts file okay so what is this main.ts file so this main.ts file basically internally get called from the app module at the time of uh, bootstrapping process okay so it app module it takes the app module and it basically transfer this information to the web pack so internally basically in angular application when we talk about angular cli or the core architecture then entire uh, thing that we are running is actually communicating with the web pack and web pack is responsible internally to give us the desired output how cli is working okay there are couple of files available there is a polyfill date.js file okay and uh, i think there will be uh ts config dot json file so we will keep on discussing those files in a later stage because right now uh, there will be less impact and that is not important right now okay so we have in angular we have a some sort of model view controller architecture so when we talk about model probably right now the boilerplate application we have created you cannot see that model but in real life application probably whenever you create any database or table and we have generally use swagger so in swagger you post the model angular has the option to create their own model or interface that basically validate the schema of the request and the response so this model you will going to see going for uh, in the in the upcoming days so this is the model part view page that is the html part and the controller what we are actually seeing that is the component because in angular higher version we do not have any concept of controller part controller was there only angular js file <clears throat> so anyone has any question yes brother sunil is here yes i have just one question mm -hmm. Go to the component.ts. I just need to understand make the selector part. Like suppose we can see the template URL that is there is a origin app.component.html. CSS same like the app.component.css. So in selector app app and root, this is what indicate like it is a selector, right? That means what? I told you that I mean app component, app component by default comes with the Angular boilerplate. Okay. So this is the parent component or the first component that we generally see. But going going forward in a real life example, you may have a home page about us page, contact us page, anything, right? And it may happen that your home page, uh, you create a home component rather than using app component, you created a same component, home component. So that home component will have a uh, a selector 
a separate HTML file and a separate CSS file, right? Now this home component needs to be part of app component, right? Otherwise you cannot see. So I will I will come gradually. So how basically this home component will be recognized into the view page because we will put that component inside the view page of the app component. Okay. So this view page only understand the respective component with the selector. So I told you this is the name of the selector that should be unique. So when we create multiple components, you will get to see that the importance of the selector. Okay. 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 Right now, because this is the identifier. This is the identifier for any component. And yeah, we can okay. we can take this component and put it inside any other component using the selector. Okay. Okay. So basically, if we are creating different different components like home, about us. So we are linking it inside this main app component file, and then we are also using it wherever we want in the view file, correct? Yes, because you can see that there is only index.html file. Yes. This file is blank, right? And this is yes. the selector. This is the selector. Correct, correct. Inside this the body. Is, this is the selector. This is the HTML file. This is the selector basically understanding this app root. That's why you can see this entire thing into the front end page. Front end page. Yes. So you we can in our application we can have multiple components. Okay. It may happen that those components directly part of index.html or you we can put inside any other component. <clears throat> there will be parental relationship, there will might be sibling components, there will be no parental relationship. So a lot of things can happen. But sure. to understand any component we have to maintain the unique selector. Okay. So that is how the single page uh, relationship is maintained here. yes because there is only one html page in the entire application that is the index.html page yes. the rest are all happening inside the component and we are just linking yes. it inside this view page yes so basically the components are actually getting data they are sharing data they are loading inside uh, your on the index.html file so there is only one page but multiple components actually sharing information to develop an entire web application correct correct right uh, hello subrata mm -hmm. hello. Uh, that means every component has the three files one is the css html and ts right no there are only four files html okay, css okay, okay. spec files and ts yes, files sir. i didn't discuss okay, this spec okay. file because right now i don't want to okay disturb you into okay. this particular section so whenever you create any okay. component there will be four files with there okay 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 uh, hello uh, subrata mm -hmm. uh, in app dot component dot ts uh, we saw that in the uh, components uh, in the style urls we have so that is an array so it is we have a multiple style urls we can go with this app component or uh, how it is so yeah we can have it's a we comma can, we, we can have multi yeah it will be a comma separated value but in real life example hmm. we never used that thing okay correct, correct. so because okay. what happened that just think about a block uh, for example a e-commerce shopping card based application hmm. and you developed a product page okay mm -hmm. so his product page consists of couple of blocks of products so ultimately when we make those things dynamic you get data from the api and mm -hmm. then you loop through uh, the components okay so yes. each component so just think about each component may have a, a header part a small block that will tell the product description then there will be product image then there will be a add to cart button okay mm -hmm. and there may be abc uh options will be there so this entire thing is a mm. single component okay so now what happened so when we develop any website right mm -hmm. so first of all first of all it goes to any uh, ui person so ui person generally uh, i mean develops the entire html and css and mm. then they provides you the html and css and you start incorporating those html css into your angular framework yes yes okay so 
now how what is the what is the solution approach the they created one one file right they either they will create a style.css file or abc. Uh, sas file or less file whatever it is so you need to copy the entire code and you have to put it into the style.css folder hey, sorry style.css file yes. so you will you will get a global css file CSS. all across the application now yes. now it may happen in your application i need a specific thing for a specific component that should not be part of my global css only hmm. that purposes we write css into the respective component otherwise respective component css file in general remains blank okay main ek situation bata raha hu suppose you are using a card right card hmm. aap jo use kar rahe ho shayad hmm. aapka do component mein card ki uh, look and feel thoda sa different hoga hmm. theek hai to ab jo situation hai उसके लिए आपको क्या करना पड़ेगा जो दो जगह पे इसका डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लुक होगा तो रेस्पेक्टिव कंपोनेंट में जाके आपको वो सीएसएस ऐड करने पड़ेंगे नॉट टू ऐड दो सीएसएस इन द ग्लोबल फाइल ग्लोबल करेक्ट करेक्ट तो yes. आप क्या करोगे कि सेम क्लास को यूज करके ही आप दो जगह पे दो डिफरेंट आउटपुट आपको मिल जाएगा करेक्ट यस yes. uh, like अभी हमने अगर एक होम करके कम्पोनेंट uh, जनरेट uh, किया एनजी uh, जनरेट mm -hmm. से तो अभी एट द रेट ऑफ कंपोनेंट में सिलेक्टर में एप ये रूट है बिकॉज दिस इज अ रूट कंपोनेंट राइट तो उसमें सिर्फ सिंगल कोट में होम इतना ही आएगा yes. हाँ तो उसमें क्या होगा आपका जो जब आप कमांड से कुछ भी कंपोनेंट बनाते हो ठीक है mm -hmm. आ, वो ऑटोमेटिकली क्या होता है सीएलआई बेसिकली उसकी जो ये जो ये जो स्ट्रक्चर है वॉट इज एन जी मॉड्यूल so ng module basically a container of the entire architecture okay. what what we talk about the container so this ng module in our application right now there is no there is a two types of structure generally we follows in the angular application hmm. so okay so going forward you will be able to see those module based structure there is a one is a component based structure i mean and there will be module based structure okay so if i start discussing all those things probably it will take lot of time just for your question i am answering this thing so when we want to develop any optimized angular application we move into that module based structure okay so this module based structure so whenever you hit any route in the url that respective components or modules only load rest of the things generally not loaded in the angular application that concept of angular is called the lazy loading yes okay. sir yeah so we have to define our lazy loading into the routing file and yes. there will be a children and there will be a parent component so you hit the route and it will automatically call the children component and rest of the component will not be loaded over there so the bundle size will be less so yes. this is this is this is going to be very later part because mm -hmm. okay so today we are all already we have done with uh, the timing i thought today we will cover uh, some part of the my documentation no worries okay so uh, i think uh, we have to stop over here yeah. yeah can you share the that documentation with us yeah 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 i will i will i will i will share the documentation but but the thing is uh, i mean uh, i will i will go through line by line with the, with with those documentation okay. and after certain period of time because right now we are in the very beginning of this stage okay yeah, maybe yeah, after 3 yeah. 4 days right. okay i will start assigning okay. you small small poc so during the okay during no the training yes okay no you have so to that will you that will also have to help do. Do. sorry ah uh, subrata what i am saying kk here so you hmm. people also have to do side by side uh, sessions so, yes sir yeah. just give so, us the installation so don't, don't, we need don't be lazy don't think uh, don't think that uh, after seven or eight sessions i will start no from the first session you start how to do the setups how to do the web pack pip installation modules yes. and other things and uh, uh, typescript also so 
gradually you will do the small small things then it will be very easy for you our aim is after this completion of the training we want to put you as a back end as well as the front end people so whatever the subrata is suggesting start doing yatorian gradually otherwise after four hour four session or seven sessions it will be very difficult for you yes subrata am i right yes 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 basically what will happen na first 3 4 days people you people will gather information okay today we have just explained the architecture of the angular application files involved what are the key files how data flows into the application okay and majorly discussion with angular and react and other popular libraries okay so maybe from tomorrow onwards uh, we will be more on a practical side okay so we will create one by one component we will go we will build a application over here in this particular training program i will build a application over here okay so my actually aim is you have to understand how i am actually building this application and in a part of a poc i will give you a similar type of application to build okay so if you follow me if you practice it in your end then only you will be able to complete the poc otherwise if you think no this is a small thing this is a small thing i will do it tomorrow i will do it do that tomorrow then the entire thing will pile up and it will be difficult for you to manage because i told you react is a simple thing okay that can be managed within 4 5 days okay but in angular you have to be aware of all the aspects of angular that's why it's a bit become an framework and the difference between a framework and library is there and you have to use angular material in a angular way okay okay guys i think uh, today we have done enough so yes, from yes, tomorrow so yeah from tomorrow onwards i think we will be more on hands on things uh, subrata so one query uh, will find this recording yeah you will get the recording from priya more i think priya will be uh, i mean have this recording okay and uh, i think you will get that recording from priya more so you can you can directly yeah. connect with priya and she will definitely share this recording with you okay thank you thank, thank you. you guys thank for you guys. joining the session yeah. okay thank you thank you so much thank you bye thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.